those of you worshiping with us from home, I invite you to gather around your communion elements at this time with your family or yourself. For us here, I'll remind you that our elements will be blessed and placed by the back door for you to take them with you as you go. Again, we know it's a little different. Our bishop has given us permission in such a time as this to practice communion in a way that's different than we normally do. As we normally do all take from this one loaf, which this is from our one loaf, and consume from our one cup. But our bishop has given us permission so that we can continue to celebrate the Lord's Supper during these times while continuing to keep one another safe. And so we remember that as we gather around the table, that we come with differences, different beliefs, different gifts, hands that do some things and feet that do others, just like the disciples who gathered around the table with Jesus on the night of the Last Supper. When he took the bread and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, he took the cup and blessed it and gave thanks and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you will in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Holy God, pour out your spirit upon us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be your body, redeemed by your blood, as we go forth into this world. Remind us that we are united through you, that as we ingest your body and your blood, we awaken your presence within us, O oh Lord. We are united, and we are bound together your holy name. Amen. For those of you worshiping with us online, I want to invite you to either tear off a piece of bread and offer it to a family member or allow it to yourself. And for those of you gathered here as you take communion later, with the bread you'll say the body of Christ broken for you. The blood of Christ shared for you, shed for you, excuse me. We remember those words as we partake of this gift, as we remember that this one bread ties us together as one body.